Welcome to the Fox Learn. A struct type is a value type that is typically used to encapsulate small groups of related variables, such as the coordinates of a rectangle or the characteristics of an item in an inventory. To define a structure, you must use the struct statement. The struct statement defines a new data type, with more than one member for your program. You have already used a simple structure named books. Structures in C Sharp are quite different from that in traditional C or C++. The C Sharp structures have the following features. Structures can have methods, fields, indexers, properties, operator methods, and events. Structures can have defined constructors, but not destructors. However, you cannot define a default constructor for a structure. The default constructor is automatically defined and cannot be changed. Unlike classes, structures cannot inherit other structures or classes. Structures cannot be used as a base for other structures or classes. A structure can implement one or more interfaces. Structure members cannot be specified as abstract, virtual, or protected. When you create a struct object using the new operator, it gets created and the appropriate constructor is called. Unlike classes, structs can be instantiated without using the new operator. If the new operator is not used, the fields remain unassigned and the object cannot be used until all the fields are initialized. Classes and structures have the following basic differences. Classes are reference types and structs are value types. Structures do not support inheritance. Structures cannot have default constructor. Structs are simple to use and can prove to be useful at times. Just keep in mind that they're created on the stack and that you're not dealing with references to them but dealing directly with them. Whenever you have a need for a type that will be used often and is mostly just a piece of data, structs might be a good option. This example declares a struct with three members, a property, a method, and a private field. It creates an instance of the struct and puts it to use.
structs may seem similar to classes, but there are important differences that you should be aware of. First of all, classes are reference types and structs are value types. By using structs, you can create objects that behave like the built-in types and enjoy their benefits as well. This example shows that when a struct is passed to a method, a copy of the struct is passed, but when a class instance is passed, a reference is passed. When you call the new operator on a class, it will be allocated on the heap. However, when you instantiate a struct, it gets created on the stack. This will yield performance gains. Also, you will not be dealing with references to an instance of a struct as you would with classes. You will be working directly with the struct instance. Because of this, when passing a struct to a method, it's passed by value instead of as a reference. The output of the example shows that only the value of the class field was changed when the class instance was passed to the CLAS staker method. The struct field, however, did not change by passing its instance to the struct taker method. This is because a copy of the struct was passed to the struct taker method, while a reference to the class was passed to the CLAS staker method. Structs can declare constructors, but they must take parameters. It is an error to declare a default, parameterless, constructor for a struct. Struct members cannot have initializers. A default constructor is always provided to initialize the struct members to their default values. When you create a struct object using the new operator, it gets created and the appropriate constructor is called. Unlike classes, structs can be instantiated without using the new operator. If you do not use new, 
the fields will remain unassigned and the object cannot be used until all the fields are initialized. There is no inheritance for structs as there is for classes. A struct cannot inherit from another struct or class, and it cannot be the base of a class. Structs, however, inherit from the base class object. A struct can implement interfaces, and it does that exactly as classes do. Here's a code snippet of a struct implementing an interface. The struct type is suitable for representing lightweight objects such as point, rectangle, and color. Although it is just as convenient to represent a point as a class with auto-implemented properties, a struct might be more efficient in some scenarios. For example, if you declare an array of 1000 point objects, you will allocate additional memory for referencing each object, in this case, a struct would be less expensive. Because the .NET framework contains an object called point. It is an error to define a default, parameterless, constructor for a struct. It is also an error to initialize an instance field in a struct body. You can initialize struct members only by using a parameterized constructor or by accessing the members individually after the struct is declared. Any private or otherwise inaccessible members can be initialized only in a constructor. When you create a struct object using the new operator, it gets created and the appropriate constructor is called. Unlike classes, structs can be instantiated without using the new operator. In such a case, there is no constructor call, which makes the allocation more efficient. However, the fields will remain unassigned and the object cannot be used until all of the fields are initialized. When a struct contains a reference type as a member, the default constructor of the member must be invoked explicitly, otherwise the member remains unassigned and the struct cannot be used. There is no inheritance for structs as there is for classes. A struct cannot inherit from another struct or class, and it cannot be the base of a class. Structs, however, inherit from the base class object. A struct can implement interfaces, and it does that exactly as classes do. You cannot declare a class using the keyword struct. In C sharp, classes and structs are semantically different. A struct is a value type, while a class is a reference type. Unless you need reference type semantics, a small class may be more efficiently handled by the system if you declare it as a struct instead. Thank you for watching this video.